In this video, we'll look at multiplying radicals of mixed index, at first by using rational exponents. You may notice this first radical has an exponent of 3, and so we can write that as a to the 2 thirds, b to the 1 third. The second has a radical index of 4, so we have a to the 1 fourth, b to the 2 fourths. In order to combine these together, we would want to add the exponents together. But before we can add exponents, we need to have a common denominator. Let's make everything have a common denominator of 12. By multiplying by 4 over 4 on the first two fractions, and 3 over 3 on the second two fractions, we now have a to the 8 twelfths, b to the 4 twelfths, a to the 3 twelfths, and b to the 6 twelfths. So we would be able to add the exponents together to get a to the 11 twelfths, b to the 10 twelfths, and then finally we could notice that we have the same denominator on both, which could be interpreted as the 12th index on a to the 11th, b to the 10th. However, that's a lot of work, so let's see if we can recognize what happened as we did this problem. You may notice that what we did to make it all possible is we had to get a common denominator. Those denominators came from the index. So maybe instead of thinking of a common denominator, we think about getting a common index. And we can get a common index by multiplying by the same thing on top and bottom, or by multiplying the index and the exponent by the same thing. In other words, without using rational exponents, if I wanted an index of 12, we could multiply the first index by 4 and the second by 3 to give us a 12th root of a to the, multiplying the exponents also, 8th, b to the 4th, and a to the 3rd, b to the 6th. When we combine those together, we would have the 12th root of a to the 11th, b to the 10th, and in two steps, we accomplished much quicker what we did before. When there's numbers, what we'll want to do is factor any numbers, so we can use our exponent properties on those as well. And as usual, you always want to be sure your final answer is simplified. Let's take a look at some examples where we work through this process. In this first problem, we have an index of 4 and an index of 6. Thinking about those as a denominator, the common denominator would be 12. This means we need to multiply the first index by 3 and the second index by 2 to get a common index of 12 over the entire thing. We'll also multiply our exponents by 3 and 2 as well, giving us m to the 3 times 3, or 9th, n to the 3 times 2, or 6th, p to the 3rd, and now multiplying by 2, m squared, n to the 2 times 2, or 4, p to the 2 times 3, or 6. Now we can quickly combine our m's, n's, and p's together by adding the exponents, because the bases are multiplied. Under the 12th root, we have m to the 9 plus 2, or 11, n to the 6 plus 4, or 10, and p to the 3 plus 6, or 9. We're left with the 12th root of m to the 11th, n to the 10th, p to the 9th. In part 2 of this video, we'll look at a second example that not only includes coefficients that we need to factor, but also the final answer would be reducible from here.